as they walk in now. Here we go. And the tapes are back. They're off and racing for the OLBG Mayor's Hurdle, this grade two event over two and a half miles and 10 flights of hurdles. Serendene, last year's runner up, just rather flicked over that, then just knocked the top bar out of that. Highland Retreat racing in second as they settle down and cross the course. They're going towards the second flight with Udi racing in third place or just to pass now in third by Little King Robin with Top Totty racing alongside Udi. Jenny's Jewel is next on the outside. Epe Celeste then comes Barry Gary John Colleen enough on the inside of him, then is Cockney Sparrow, followed then by Doily Card, who races together with Lunique and Quivega, who's in the rear quarter of the field, then held on to, as usual, by Ruby Walsh as she goes to this historic sixth time of this afternoon, held up at the back of the field, past the time, just tracking uh, Doily Card. And as they turn towards us, the bat marker is hidden identity with the next flight coming up towards them now is number three. And again, Serendene rather kicked that flight out of the ground. She still has the initiative, though, from Highland Retreat, who tracks in second. Followed then by Little King Robin in third on the inside of Top Totty. Then on the outside then comes Jenny's Jewel, the sheepskin nose man, the predominantly blue colours. Udi in the red with the yellow seams is next, followed by Epe Celeste. Then comes the blue colours of Jenny's Jewel, who's just uh, tracking these uh, leaders. Also, Colleen Enough is on the outside then, just of, on the inner Cockney Sparrow in the diamond jacket. They're followed then by Quivega, who's trapped there by Down Ace in the green cap on the near side. Looking further to the inside and Doily Cart there. Glenn's Melody is content to be patient as well at the back of the field as they come down towards the fourth flight, still hidden identity there together with the past the time. Udi, the French may have made a bit of a mistake there at that flight as they head off now up towards the hill, towards the turn down the back straight. Highland Retreat matching strides now with Serendene. They lead by two lengths. Followed in third then by Little King, Robin and Top Totty. Then just behind these is Jenny's Jewel who races just in front, two lengths in front then of Udi, Cockney Sparrow and Epe Celeste. Colleen Enough is next in the middle of the field there with Lunique on the inside saving ground. Quivega, Ruby Walsh in the red jacket with the blue sleeves, followed by Doily Cart, Glenn's Melody, and then comes Down Ace. And still looking on at the rear of the field still is past the time and Highland Retreat. Again, Serendene's uh, jumping wasn't exactly foot perfect at that as they took flight number five. They're making their way towards the six of the ten, and it's a pretty decent gallop being set here by Serendene and Highland Retreat on the outside. Between the two of them, then, there's about a bob of the heads, and then three lengths away, back in third, a little King Robin. Top Totty still there with Jenny's Jewel and Cockney Sparrow not letting them too much ground. Tucks that in about fifth place. Udi is next. Quivega's made a little bit of ground now. So, too, is Lunique on the inside in the red and white colours. Colleen enough, just a little bit shuffled back through there, but still goes OK, then, as they go left-handed across the top of the track now and go towards the next flight with Serendene still just in front. Going towards it now, Serendene from Highland Retreat. Taking it in third, then on the inside was Little King Robin, top totty poise, going nicely. Cockney Sparrow is next with Udi. And then comes behind these Jenny's Jewel, looking for Colleen Enough, who's trying to make up some uh, ground now behind them under a patient Barry Garrett, who's now tracking Quivega and her stable mate, Glenn's Melody, who makes ground on the outside of the yellow and black chevrons. they got three more more flights to take here in the OLBG Mayor's Hurdle. As they come down the hill, Serendene is the leader. On the outside is Highland Retreat. On the, the move now, then become the Andes is Quivega, still very patiently ridden, though, by Ruby Walsh. They took that third last flight mistake by Glenn's Melody on the outside. Serendene still going well. Ruby just asking Quivega to pick up now. She does so. Cockney Sparrow is on the move on the inside. Still there with every chance. Moving in second is Little King Robin. Serendene the leader from Little King Robin as they go with that uh, second last and Serendene is gone. That leaves Little King Robin out in front from Glenn's Melody and now Quivega. Quivega goes into third place. Highland Retreat, Lunique racing behind these as they try and stay on up the hill. They're racing towards the final flight now. It's Glenn's Melody, stable made of Quivega who's under a bit of pressure here but begins to draw alongside with Lunique on the inner. Coming to the final flight, Glenn's Melody and Quivega who's battling hard for this record-breaking six-timer. It's Glenn's Melody 
just from Kruvega, who's going to battle extremely hard and takes up the running. And Kruvega is going to make history. The joy of six for Kruvega. She wins again. Glenn's Melody in second, followed by Lunique back in third, then Hidden Identity, and Cockney Sparrow was in fifth. First, at number nine, Kruvega. Second to number five, third number eight, and the fourth horse, and number 13. The full result of the OLBG Mayor's Hurdle Race. First, at number nine, Quivega. Second to number five, Glenn's Melody. Third number eight, a unique. And the fourth horse, and number 13, Hidden Identity. The winning distances were three quarters of a length and the same, three quarters of a length and the same.